What's up guys, it's me, Diamondback Reptiles here, doing another video, and in today's video, I thought I should follow up with the how to care video, with why isn't my gargoyle gecko eating, because that's like one of the biggest questions asked, in basically the crusty geckos and everything, because that seems to be a big thing that's mentioned 100% of the time. So I thought I should do five things while your gecko might not be eating. So let's get into the video. Whoa! First thing is the cage. The cage seems like an obvious one, but some people don't actually think it. <clears throat> if you didn't know, I had my gargoyle gecko in a 30 by 30 by 40. And now I put her back into the original one she had, what is a 30 by 30 by 30. Because a load of my friends who I've actually been chatting personally, like person to person on Gmail, they've all, um, I've been like asking questions about temperatures and everything else. Not, well, not temperatures, like food, different foods. And I thought, I put the food straight on top top of my gecko's nose it ate it like crazy and as soon as I put the same exact same on its feeding bowl make sure the feeding bowl is clean everything and just let you know she was eating before I put her in the 40 by, um, 30 by 30 by 45 as soon as I put the food in it no not touch it not even touch crickets as soon as I put her in this she first night she was in it she demolished like she ate half of her food bowl and that was really good that was really really good but so the cage that's obviously the first one so I would say if your gecko first of all isn't eating I know it's probably not going to be the cheapest way but I'm pro I promise you it will work it will work 50% of the time but this is the hurry by thirty. also a thing is if I wouldn't put too many ground things on like I wouldn't put a lot of moss on your cages I wouldn't put a lot of moss I wouldn't put Maybe I wouldn't put a lot of like this cork, you can see there, like the cork buried in the ground. I wouldn't put too much of that because, say, as gargle gecko, they love, 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 love eating crickets. And if they eat crickets, the crickets are gonna go straight under that cork, straight under the moss, somewhere where your gargle gecko or crested gecko can't get it. Now, that's I know moss is a brilliant thing. Like, I've even got moss here growing, it actually is growing, like, it's been getting greener ever since I put it on top. It is getting beautiful. I know it's beautiful, it makes your case so much more natural, if that's even a word, but that will stop the crickets from eating. So, the next one. The next one is heating, lighting, and humidity. They are the most important thing for any, 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 any reptile. So make sure you have, a, if you live in England or something and you do have a thermostat, make sure your thermostat is set to correct. And if you have a thermostat, I would highly recommend you get a thermometer. It doesn't have to be the zoomed one. Just get a thermometer. They work so well. So get that, because that would make sure I put it in the halfway mark, so you know the bottom temperature and the middle temperature. That's very important. And obviously the humidity. I, this, these ones don't work. These are the exoterra, I think. Yeah, the exoterra hygrometer. My one doesn't even go up or down. So what I just stick to is either a one or two sprays a day. Next thing is the consistency of your food with the food first of all you want to make sure it's obviously in date because i think there are dates on their foods and second of all the consistency each gecko likes their own consistency one gargle gecko or crested gecko might like it thick one gargle gecko or crested gecko might like it thin you've got to know you've got to basically read your animal you've got to learn what your animal likes so I have done a video on this so if you want to go and check out the link in the description to check that one out and that's how you know. The next and probably the most easiest thing ever, ever is 
make sure you know what your gecko likes. There is about, I'd say about tw maybe 10, 20 different types of food. There's obviously the Rapashi and the Pangea. Pangea has about 20, I think. I do not know and I don't really care. How They have tons of food items, different types of food. They have watermelon and mango, is it? The watermelon and uh, mango, this is this one. You can get banana and papaya. Um, you can get the special one with crickets in it. You can get any of them. Um, and the ones that are most popular are the watermelon and mango. What oh, is actually this one? Or the banana and papaya they're the most two popular ones i'm gonna get some of that banana and papaya for my girl gecko see if it likes it even more but yeah that's really it and i like a little quick tip is that if your gog gecko is brand new you've just had it two days don't stress out your gog gecko won't eat it's it's probably been on a little trip, it's been stressed out, temperature changes, everything, new homes and everything. So do not worry. And another thing is, gargle geckos and le um, well, crested geckos, for a baby, their tongue is incredibly small. If you've ever seen it, you will know it's so small, so, so, so small. So don't worry if you... If you see poo on the cage, you know it's eating. But don't forget, if you see that little tongue licking in this, it's not going to make a big indent. So remember that. And also, third time's the charm. The bowl. Don't, if you really want to know if your gargle gecko or crested gecko is in, get a layer of food, right? And sweep it. I would recommend using, like, milk lids, best ever. Uh, basically, you put your food in it. Mix it on here, so you see this corner, oh, oh wow, great, oops, <laughs> well you see this indent all along here, right, see, the edge basically, you want to cover that with Pangea and put a rim of Pangea on the top, or Rapashi, and then flatten it out on the bottom, it doesn't matter if you have barely anything in the bottom, as long as it's have a layer on it, and then wake up in the morning and I promise you, your gecko would have eaten, because... Oh, <laughs> because the gargle gecko or le crested gecko would have smelt this around the side. It would be like walking up here and they would smell that. They'll start looking on here and then they would get into the middle. So that's what I recommend you do. Well, that's what I've been doing. So that's worked out for me. The caging is the biggest thing that has worked for me. So, yeah. But this is my new Gargle Gecko's cage, just a quick overview. I really like this because I do find my Gargle Gecko in the morning just basking on it, it's so good. But that's been this video. I know it hasn't been really a long one, but I feel a bit better now if you guys are wondering. And next week's video, next week's video, the competition winners. I'm going to do an actual, basically, competition video, so I'm going to like, Show you me writing them, putting them in the hair, and unfortunately, only two people, two, two, one, two people have entered. So, yeah, I know one's about quick mentoring to you because I have watched your video, and I do actually like it a lot. Is Coco's Chris's, and I've got the other one. Obviously, in the giveaway video, all their names will be in there and links to their channel if they have them. So yeah, right now we are on 41 subscribers, obviously you, you know the next goal we're going for, 50 subscribers, and on 50 subscribers I think I might be doing a big feeding of all my snakes or my geckos, probably not on the gargle gecko, I don't know because my gargle gecko only eats like at the middle of the night and I don't really want to be staying up middle of the night doing a video, you know what I mean, you know what I'm saying, but oh well. So please like and make sure you subscribe. When we do 50 subscribers, I'm doing the feeding video. I might do a few other things, maybe a challenge, eat a cricket, or whatever you guys want to do. Please don't torture me. Um, 
when I put, I'm thinking of like what I could do if I get to 100. I know I'm probably going to get to 100 because this channel is growing like mad, literally. So please, 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 like, and a hundred percent, please, 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 please subscribe because. Once I get to 100, I think I might do another giveaway and hopefully more people will enter. Maybe something bigger, maybe a few packs of Rapangia. Don't know, maybe something good though. So leave some suggestions down below what you might want me to give away. Make sure it's not too expensive. And no, I'm not giving away a live reptile. No, 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 no. On my old channel, one of my friends said for a giveaway, you should give away one of your geckos. And I was like... No. So please like and subscribe. And why don't you send or tell your friends about this video and make sure they subscribe. So you have better chance of actually being in a giveaway. And let them enter the giveaway for you. But please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. See you next time. Woo woo woo.